Good morning, guys. So today we're starting off our Saturday. We are going to have a little road trip, but I'm just making some breakfast. Amelia had a little egg hunt because she loves hunting eggs. I'm always a little stuffy in the morning. Mm. Can you say hi, guys. No, you get it before you fall. Okay. <laughs> so we're just getting breakfast started. You got a star. Okay, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Is it gonna be yummy bacon? Yum bacon. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Want me to make some French toast? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You lay down? Yes. Oh, okay. Are you tired? Yeah. No. No. Are you gonna lay on mommy? Hey guys, so Chris family gave us some eggs. It's uh homegrown eggs. She got it from a lady she knows and she put the date on them from when she picks them. But um, answer me this, guys. Why are the eggs different colors? Like, I know they don't come from a different colored egg or different colored chicken. <laughs> One's not organic chicken versus unorganic. So why is some eggs white, tan, but green? Like, why are they all different colors? Like, I don't understand. Is it different process, different times they lay the egg in the year? Change the egg color, the shells. <laughs> Do you know, Chris? What? Why the egg shells are different colors? Like, I'm trying to figure out why the colors are different, but I don't know. No. Oh. That makes sense. Chris says different kind of chickens. Like, I never seen an extra large egg versus. Just a large egg. That's because they sort them at the factory when you go to a place like that. Like, I can see a small one. I had chickens when I was little. Um, sometimes the eggs are big, sometimes they're small. Sometimes you get two oaks, yolks. Sometimes you get one, sometimes you get, you get none. Mm -hmm. See, like, see, green, tan, pinkish. So I'm just making um, French toast with some bacon and maybe some uh, mixed vegetables, I don't know, mixed fruit. So that's what we're getting. So I slept in a little bit today, well a lot of bit, I slept in until 11.30, which means Amelia got up at 11.30, I had no makeup on, basically just woke up, making breakfast, the weekends are my day to sleep in, but if Chris don't wake up, then Amelia's sleeping in too, which is not great for her little schedule. She went to bed before 
12 yesterday? At 12. Exactly. She was out. So, so far so good on the sleep progression. Um, I got it from 1 o'clock to 12.45 to 12.30, 12, sometimes 11.30. Like uh, the past couple of days, it's been between 11 and 12. So, but I don't know about today, y'all, because she woke up so, so late. These need to speed up. These French toast is taking forever. I use one pan. I'm going to have to switch it because this only fits one French toast. And that's not going to cut it for today. So I'm going to change that. Get breakfast situated. Grapes and strawberries maybe. Some bacon. She likes her starch. So we'll get that starch in there. Alright. Push that down. Dear Lord. Thank you for this food that's being prepared for us. Let it nourish our body and bless the hands of our prayer. We thank you for... And... Tots. And... Our babies. And we pray we have a rest, a good day, and a good nap. Amen. Amen. Bacon. And grapes. Is your tots? Um, there you go. Amelia, what's this? Grapes. What's that? A berry. What's that? Bacon. What's this? Toast. That's right. We call it French toast. Can you say French? French. Toast. Toast. Good job. Honey. Fork? Yeah, Mommy, get your fork. Water. And water. She loves her utensils and her... Even if she don't need a fork, she wants a fork and she likes it. <laughs> so I'm getting her fork and Chris is getting her some water. And we're going to sit down and have breakfast. We watch church from home. So we're going to put on a little church. She was watching Veggie Tales, which I did not know was Christian based. So they're doing Noah's Ark right now. So she was watching Noah's Ark. But I'm about to sit down and eat some breakfast with the family and watch some church. So now we're just going to visit our Chris's nephew, little Bowen Jr. He just they just had him a couple days ago. And so we're gonna go visit the little baby. But that's like a two-hour drive in this million's nap time, so she'll probably fall asleep in the car. But this is not a typical sun Sunday. We usually I'm inside <laughs> and I don't go anywhere and I'm stuck. But today, we get to go on a little family outing and adventure, so I got dressed. I'm actually wearing a regular bra. <laughs> Usually I wear a maternity, but today is a special day because, you know, I put one on. <laughs> yeah. Random, I know. What you doing? You stepping in dirt? Yeah. I did two little braids. It's Amelia's hairstyle. I'm working on it, guys. I'm practicing my French braids. You stepping in dirt? No, no, no dirt. You can't some Take me on this journey home. I don't want to wait no more. Let me tell the moon. Tell me you'll be on the soon. I don't want to wait no more.
So we are home now. Um, the freeway is crazy. People were trying to cut people off. It was just craziness. So we got this bubble machine. Is it still blowing? Okay, so we got this bubble machine from Amazon. I've been thinking about returning, but <laughs> Amelia's loving it so far. You like the bubble machine? Yes. Is it fun? Yes. See, it blows the bubbles downward. <laughs> She's having a great time. Yeah. It's like a little fan. But it doesn't open up, so you just gotta pour the bubbles inside the tray. And I don't know. It blows pretty well, but it doesn't blow up like the old, like the bubble machine we had before. Chris, Chris broke that one. He it had it has solution in it and the batteries in it, and he knocked it over. And then the solution fell into the battery area or the engine area and shortened it, so it stopped working. But now we're in search of another one like that. Um, but we said so we may get it. They have a replacement one. That one works the best. But this one, I don't know. It works pretty good, though, but it's not like the one we had. Then again, there's no wind to blow it up in here in the house. And the reservoir, see, it's not blowing out of all of them. Just like out of one. And then you put the, the liquid in here. But the whole container doesn't open. So I don't know how you have to clean it or rinse it. But Mary really like it. You like it? See this wet spot on our floor? Mm -hmm. Wait, move, baby. You're sitting on the bubble wet spot. So all this right here, this brown mark. Wet. Wet? Mm, yeah, the bubbles spill. Bubble shit? Mm-hmm. Bubble shit! Yeah. So the power bubble, this thing right here, I would not recommend this power bubble. I would not recommend this power bubble. It leaks down here from the bottom. I'm using it today, or at all. This is our first time using it. We just got it today. It comes with no bubbles and no batteries. No. So it does come with this um, this little pack of bubbles. I think it says bubble concentrate. So it gives you a sample bubbles that you pour into the empty container and a screwdriver. So it comes with those, but that's about it. No instructions on how to clean it. Uh, it says hand wipe. So it doesn't come with any how to do, like take it apart or rinse it or anything like that. So save your money, guys. Don't buy the Speedy Bubbles Turbo. Speedy Bubbles Turbo times two or times three. See? Because it's not worth your coins. Because it's going to just leak all your bubble fluid on the floor. I was like, why is it going out so fast? Because it's leaking. So I'm gonna return it, yeah. So we're gonna just relax, watch some TV. So mostly you guys saw us cook. <laughs> it's a cooking day. So with that guys, I wanna say thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.